Welcome to this tutorial in which I want to show you how to auto-generate stunning PDFs from your Google Form submissions and then send those PDFs automatically off via email. We use a tool called Docs Automator for this. Docs Automator is a powerful document automation solution that integrates with various tools, Google Sheets being one of them. Google Sheets is where Google Forms basically stores new submissions. So let's get into the tutorial. I show you the use case first. Um, we have this event going on and uh, we want to send attendees this form so they can enter their data, name, email, organization, etc. Once they've done that, they submitted this form, we want to send them a confirmation letter, which you see here declared in Google Docs. Google Docs is used for templates in Docs Automator and variables. So the placeholders where we that we want to replace with the actual data from our forms is given with double curly brackets. So you can see here attendee name, attendee email, organization name, etc. All the details that we want to add from our forms. Um, I also show you the sheet real quick. So this is the sheet that you get if you go into your Google form and you, you um, generate the Google Sheets um, for responses. You click on view in sheets and then you will get to a sheet that looks similar like this, which is very convenient because it basically has exactly the syntax that Doxometer requires in Google Sheets in order to work with it, which is that there is a header row and the header row in the columns basically gives a title for that for that column. So here we have name, email, organization, etc. Documents are then printed for every row that is added uh, to this sheet. In our case, every submission that is added. Now let's do the work in Docs Automator. If you don't have an account yet, please create one. If you go, uh, please go to docsonometer.co and create your account. And then we create our first automation. An automation basically says, this is what my data source is. This is what my template is. And this is how the placeholders in the template relate to the data in my data source, in our case, Google Sheets. So I select Google Sheets here, and then I import an existing Google Doc. In our case, it's uh, this Future of Automation Summit. I copy the title, I add the title here so I can select it, and there it is. Um, I have the option to edit this also here inside of Docs Automator, just as a side note, um, but now we save and continue. Now we need to choose our Google Sheet. The Google Sheet we had looked at before already. I also copy the title here as well. Uh, add this here and select this. Same thing here, by the way, we can edit the sheet also here in Docs Automator. Um, so now I need to um, set a few things up, which is the primary sheet, uh, which is the sheet where our data lives. In our case, pretty easy because there is only one sheet called Form Responses 1. And then the primary column. For the primary column, I want to use name uh, because name is going to be unique for every submission. Uh, so that's what I select as the primary column. And document name column, same thing. I also use name. The document name column is uh, what? how are documents that are generated being named, basically. Um, and that's also going to be a unique uh, unique name in the name column. Then the PDF link column, Google uh, Docs Automator stores the link to the PDF in the Google Sheet. I've created a new column for this and I called here in the first uh, in the header row PDF. So that's also what I'm going to select here. That's where the link to our generated PDF will be stored. And then it's about the aforementioned mapping of variables to data in our sheets. I can use AI for this because these are similarly called, so it should work pretty well. It has worked pretty well. We have the attendee name mapped to a column called name. We have the variable attendee email mapped to the column email, etc., etc. I save this. Now we've done all the mapping part. Um, we could generate previews if we had some rows already in our sheet. In our case, we don't because we don't have any submissions yet. No problem. We um, just gonna go ahead. And the next thing we want to do is we um, have an array here where we can define actions that should happen after documents are generated. What we want to do is we want to send an email after our document has been generated. I click on edit email. I get this editor here where I can set the recipient uh, basically based on a variable that we use in our document generation. We have the variable attendee email. Um, so that's where we grab the recipient email from. Uh, and then we need to um, type some text here and say, thanks for joining us um, and then I can write the email. We have notion like notation here so I can uh, just uh, add a slash and then basically select variables again. Um, thank you for joining us. Uh, best Rupert. There we go. 
I save this. So this is going to be the email that will be sent off after every admin card generated when we get new submissions. And the last part is that we need to set up auto creation. So actually the triggering of how documents are generated. We can enable auto generation or auto creation here. Doximator checks the next row that will be processed. In our case, that's row two. Uh, row one is our header row. And then row two is where the first form submission will be. Doximator then, once this is enabled, goes through this sheet every five minutes and checks whether there are new rows after the last processed row. Basically new rows in the next row that is displayed here and uh, rows after that. So I uh, will go ahead now and uh, will create a submission. So we have something to uh, look at. Um, I uh, type in my name. Um, I type in my email address, an organization, the days that I'm going to attend, and then data restrictions, and I submit this. So this will now create a new submission here in our sheet, of course. And then every five minutes, Doximeter goes here, basically checks, is there a new submission? We'll generate a PDF for it. And now we skip to that part. So the next cycle has been running. The PDF has been generated. We can also have a look at it. Uh, there we go. So uh, our name is here and uh, the email organization, etc. Everything's uh, substituted as we wanted it to be substituted. Um, the name you can see here, the name is basically um, the name that we set, which is uh, based here on the name column. Uh, so that's how this document is called. You can also see this here again. Um, and now if we would have more submissions, then the same thing would happen as well. So we would basically see the documents being generated here. If you don't want to wait for this, so uh, let me actually refresh this so we can see the last process time, which was uh, just now. And then we also see that the next row to process now changed to three because that's going to be row three now. If you don't want to wait, you have a couple of submissions that you need to generate right away. You can click on run now. And then basically the same thing would happen. You just initiate it here from the front end. The last thing we want to look at is basically whether we got uh, an email. Um, and let me share my screen here. So that's the email that we just got. Um, hi, then my name. Thank you for joining us. And we have the PDF attached. And that's it. That's how easy and quick it is to generate stunning PDFs from your Google Form submissions. Of course, you can uh, change the template in any way you like. Please visit Doxanimator's templates uh, to get some inspiration or take a template from there. If you have any questions, please reach out anytime. And for now, I wish you happy automating and speak to you very soon.